Welcome, you're here with me, Miss Gray, and I'm going to be helping you revise the solar system today. We're going to start with the planets closest to the sun and slowly work our way outwards. With each planet, we're going to take a moment just to find out an interesting fact about it. Now, if you don't have pen and paper to hand, pause the video now and go and get some so that with each planet, you can test yourself as you go along. Now, remember, you can pause this video and replay it as many times as you like. You can stop at any time and come back to it later. Keep testing yourself along the way, though. If you just sit and watch it without really doing anything, you're probably not going to remember much at the end of it. OK, you all ready? Right, here we go. First planet in the solar system. Any ideas? Have a go at writing it down, even if you're not too sure about the spelling. You can practice the spelling later. Right, first planet in the solar system is Mercury. Did you get it right? Well done if you did. If it's your second time listening to the video, remember to hide your notes from the first time to see what you can remember. All right, so what do we know about Mercury? Well, first of all, you've just told me it's the closest planet to the sun. Well done. But do you know anything else about Mercury? What about its size? That's right, Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system. Ready for planet number two? Any ideas what it is? I can tell you the second planet in the solar system is Venus. You got that right? Well done. Don't forget to give the planets a capital letter at the beginning. That's their real name. So what do you know about Venus? I'll give you one fact about Venus. It is the hottest planet in the solar system. Have you any idea how hot it is? Take a guess. It is 465 degrees centigrade, approximately. But that's pretty hot and certainly much hotter than you'd find on Earth. The third planet in the solar system is the best planet. OK, I may be biased, but it's home. So what do we know about Earth? What makes it special? Well, Earth is the only planet in the solar system to have water in all three states, and it's one of the main reasons we can live here. Water can exist as a solid, a liquid, and a gas on the planet Earth. OK, so we've got Venus on one side of us, but what planet is on the other side of us? Any ideas? Well done if you got it. The answer's Mars. So one of the interesting things about Mars is that it actually has the largest mountain in the solar system, even though the planet is actually slightly smaller than Earth. The mountain is called Olympus Mons. But there's another fact about Mars that is even more startling. There is actually water on Mars. OK, maybe not rivers and lakes and such like, but underneath the ground you can find ice. The mission to Mars is actually going to have a look to find out if there were ever any living things on Mars. But at the moment, that's just stuff for science fiction. OK, so what's the next planet in the solar system? After Mars comes Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. But how large is it? Here's a copy of Earth, as we saw it before looks about the same size. But if we were to make it to scale, we would need to make it a lot smaller. Say stop when you think it's at the right size. You said it yet? Not yet. What about now? No, even smaller. Now? No, still way off. In fact, if it was to scale, Earth would only be about that big. Jupiter really is very, very large. Another cool fact about Jupiter is that it has the most moons in the solar system. Well, the most known moons anyway. There could be lots out there hiding that we just haven't discovered yet. So Jupiter's the largest planet in the solar system. What's the next planet? Did you get it? Have you even had a go at guessing? Have a go. The next planet is Saturn. And we all know what's special about Saturn. Yes, it's those rings, isn't it? 
Well, you can't see those rings very clearly on Earth. In fact, you couldn't see them until telescopes began to be used. The first time the rings were seen was over 400 years ago by a man named Galileo. After Saturn in the solar system comes another planet with rings. Do you know which one it is? Uranus. Did you get it right? Uranus is in fact the coldest planet in the solar system. At minus 224 degrees centigrade, it really is incredibly cold. Can you remember which planet was the hottest in the solar system? The final planet in the solar system is Neptune. Now, Neptune is a very special planet for many reasons, but the one I'm going to share with you today is the fact that it actually has the fastest recorded winds of any of the planets. Now, if you think that you might be able to cycle up to a maximum of around 30 to 40 kilometers an hour, that your car can go 100 kilometers an hour without breaking the speed limit, but could probably get to 150, how fast do you think the winds are on Neptune? They've been recorded at over 2,000 kilometers an hour. I'm not sure you'd be able to stand up in those winds. So those are all the planets in the solar system. But what about Pluto, I hear you say? Well, there's Pluto out on the end. But there's been a lot of controversy about this planet, and that's because it's no longer classified as a planet. It is, in fact, a lump of icy rock that's now been designated to be part of the Kuiper Belt. This next little bit is just a bit of information about Pluto to explain why it's no longer classified as a planet. Don't worry too much if you don't remember all these little bits. Let me first of all show you all the planets laid out. No, they're not to scale, are they? But you can see they're all put in the right order. Can you remember the names? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Now Pluto would be out here. And for a long time, it was counted as the ninth planet in the solar system. As telescopes got better, we actually found more planet-like rocks in our solar system. First of all, we found Circes out there between Jupiter and Mars. And then we found Pollus, Juno, and Vesta. Four more planets to add to our solar system. But the more we looked, the more little rocky things we found. And very soon we realized that those first four rocky things weren't really very planet-like at all, but they were very like the other rocky things next to them. This is now referred to as the asteroid belt, and Circes, Pollus, Juno, and Vesta are asteroids. So where does that leave Pluto? Well, Pluto was very, very, very small. In fact, it's even smaller than the Earth's moon, which we can see here. But being small isn't enough to stop you from being classified as a planet. What happened was that we found more rocky, icy things out next to Pluto. And we found some that were even bigger than Pluto. And the more we looked at them, the more we realized they weren't very planet-like at all. And in fact, they were pretty much all ice. Pluto, along with all its icy little companions, is not a planet, but part of the Kuiper Belt. That's good news for you, because it means you now only have eight planets to remember. But how are you going to remember them in the right order? Listen carefully, and I will share with you my secret. My very easy method just speeds up naming planets. So what is it? Well, that was it. 
Listen again. My very easy method just speeds up naming planets. Say it with me. My very easy method just speeds up naming planets. My very easy method just speeds up naming planets. What? My very easy method just speeds up naming planets. Can you see what I did there? It's a mnemonic to help me remember the order of the planets. Can you remember what it stands for? My very easy method just speeds up naming planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Eight planets in order from the Sun outwards. So that's it. Just need to learn those eight planets. Here we go. Quick fire round. Which planet have we recently sent a rover to to find out more about it? Which is the largest planet in our solar system? Which planet has the fastest winds? Which planet is the hottest? Which planet is the smallest? Which planet has rings that were seen over 400 years ago by Galileo? Which planet has the largest mountain? Which planet has the most moons? Which planet do we call home? Well, I think if you can answer all of those, you're going to do really well in the end of term exam. Best of luck. Bye.